Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Cal Royal 730 door closer. So the 730 door closer is a very capable and uh, versatile door closer from Cal Royal, and it obviously being a door closer is comprised of a bunch of different components. First and foremost, here's the door closer body being shown to you in the aluminum finish. And the 730 is a uh, three size spring. It's a fixed spring power for a, three, a, a, a number three size spring, which is going to be capable of handling typical um, standard commercial doors, 3068, 3070, you know, 100 pound door situations uh, for regular arm uh, sort of mounts. Although this does come equipped to go uh, for a parallel arm mount and of course can do a top jam mount. What defines it as a size 3, importantly very often, is knowing the footprint dimension. And that is a dimension, that is the dimension center to center on the screw holes. And you can see on the size 3, it's a little bit hard to show you in the camera, so I'm just going to do it here on my desk. You're about 8 and a quarter. center to center on the footprint holes from the center here to the center here and then from here to here is three quarter inch okay so that's the body it's going to have valves for your latching and your sweep speeds and let's define those your latch valve is the last few degrees of the opening of the door so let's say that your door opened to 90 degrees, okay? Your latch control would just be the last 5 or 10 degrees of that close of that opening cycle. The sweep is everywhere from 90 down to about the 10 degree point, at which point the latch valve takes over. And that allows you to have really nice control over the closing of the door, um, depending on the conditions that you're dealing with weight of the door, the, any sort of back pressure that might exist from uh, the building uh, inside from uh, rear doors being opened or front doors being opened. Um, you can get the sweep valve opened up to get the door closed quicker through the closing cycle and then have the latch valve uh, hold it up a little bit and control that real nice uh, in a slow and controlled fashion. The arm is shown here in two parts this is the forearm and then I will show you the main or the uh, main arm here yep. so the main arm is what connects to the door closer body itself the forearm it's the same as this you know your the forearm of your hand it's going to look just like this your main arm and then your forearm that's all going to connect to your door closer body depending on how you're installing this you're going to get with it a parallel arm bracket. And a parallel arm bracket is what is necessary when you are attaching the door uh, closer to the push side of the opening. Uh, and is defined as the body of the door closer is attached to the face of the door. And then the parallel arm bracket is attached to the underside of the head. And that is a push side mount with the bot where the body of the closer is attached to the door. A regular arm, so we'll talk about the three standard methods of uh, attaching the door closer to the door. Parallel arm we just discussed. The regular arm is when the body is attached again to the door, but this time is on the pull side. And then you're not going to use the parallel arm bracket. You would simply attach the soft the, the the door shoe directly to the header of the frame and then of course you can do a top jam mount which is where you would have the door closure body attached on the push side of the opening but this time to the header and your door closure arm is going to be attached to the underside and then your door shoe would be mounted to the door itself you will get your screw pack which is going to include wood screws and metal screws to hold that body of the door. You'll get the screw to hold the arm to the closer body and then you're going to get two screws to hold the 
arm shoe to the door or the frame, depending on how you're installing it. With the parallel arm, you're going to get another screw pack, which allows you to attach the uh, parallel arm bracket to the header of a steel frame or a wood frame. And then, of course, to attach it to the arm itself. And when you do that, you're going to remove the shoe via this screw, and then this bushing is going to mount directly onto the parallel arm bracket here as such. You'll get a cap to dress up typically the underside okay, of the, of the closer. It'll look like that. Now, there's a link below this video to the instructions, uh, installation instructions, etc., etc. And there's, you know, the, the bottom line is there's just too much information to go through in this video. It would be a 20 minute video at that point. However, the, you know, the important cliff notes really, I think, to take, to take away from the instructions is that you, you must understand a few things. It's, in, it's very important to follow the instructions in terms of the location of the body as measured from the head of the, or the top of the door. Okay, That's defined on all of the instructions, or at least it's given in reference to where you're going to attach it uh, to the uh, uh, to the door itself, the it's defined uh, very clearly from the dimension from the top of the door to the center of this hole. If that dimension is not correct, you are going to have a condition where the door closer arm is going to hit the top of the door when the unit opens and closes. So that's very critical to get that first dimension accurate. Less critical, less critical, but still very important is the dimension as measured from the center line of the hinge, which is the dimension given from the hinge to, to this hole horizontally, that will define the degree of opening of the door, how close or how far away the closer is from the hinge axis, the, the vertical axis of pivoting of the hinge is directly related to the degree of opening. So you'll want to be very sure that you're installing or drilling the door closer body correctly based on how far you want it to open. So once those two dimensions are very carefully laid out, all other, the, all other dimensions for attaching the door closer will fall into play, regardless of doing a regular arm, a top jam arm, or a parallel arm installation. Once you do one of these door closers and it's successful and it works perfectly for you, they're all the same after that. So. The first closer takes a little bit longer to install, but every one after that is quite is, is much more uh, easy to and, and less time consuming to put on. This closer is available from Keller Oil in several different finishes, uh, aluminum and gold, etc. cetera. Uh, in addition to that, um, it is available in um, different sizes. Okay, so a 730 is technically a size 3 spring, okay, and it's not handicap compliant, meaning it doesn't comply with the reduced amount of pressure required to open a door. Size 4 are available, size 2 are available, size 5 are available, and then of course handicap compliant units are available as well. Uh, so you'll want to determine which closure that you need based on the door size, the door weight, and the door use that you're going to be installing it on. A size 3 is very appropriate for a standard commercial metal or wood door and a pull side mount um, for a non-handicap required opening. A size 4 would be like a Cal Royal number 740 would be very appropriate for a exterior door that swings out and you're going to install it in a parallel arm fashion. You'll want to have the spring power basically one size greater when you're installing it in a parallel arm fashion because the, the, the mechanics or the geometry of how a parallel arm works with the uh, opening of a door falls in line with needing one spring size larger typically.
Uh, these are very common items. Door closers are required for fire rated doors uh, by code. Fire rated doors need to be both self latching and self closing and a door closer obviously is the perfect uh, solution for that. Door closers are nice compared to spring hinges because hydraulic control over a door is always preferable and certainly in, at least in my opinion uh, over spring hinges because you know you don't want to have your fingers caught in the door jam when a spring hinge is closing your door just slamming it closed. Hydraulically controlled is always a great option because it allows you also to get nice control over the door closing cycle throughout whatever season you happen to be in. Uh, more difficult weather, cold weather, uh, different in air pressure, uh, differences in how the building is used ba based on you know the, the time of the year. Hydraulic control is, is, a, is, is the proper way I think to control a door. Um, Cal Royal is a full line provider of many pieces of commercial hardware. Much of it is very good. They're a good, well-organized, well-run company that is predictable and reliable. Their products are quite good. The Cal Royal 730 Closer, I have been personally selling for almost 20 years and have had very little problem with it um, and uh, stand behind it 100%. Very good uh, warranty period on the Cal Royal uh, Door Closer Series. And we've got just a ton of information down here on, um, on the Cal Royal 730. If you scroll down below this video, uh, all of the dimensions, the A and B dimensions for the overall size of the body and then the center to center dimension as well. If you have any questions on the Cal Royal 730 door closer or any other Cal Royal product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.